So you can kind of see with the puffiness of it that it's still, even though this sleeping bag is about 70 years old, still quite fluffy and still quite heavy and lined with what would only be the scratchiest of wools <laughs> in order to keep you warm. Hi, my name is Maureen Peters and I'm the Curator of History at The Rooms and today I'm going to take you inside the vault. Come on in. Well, <laughs> camping season is upon us even though it's a bit late this year. And uh, here we have a sleeping bag that is wool lined and filled with elder down. It's, it's called an arctic sleeping bag and it is very heavy and very awkward. So I don't think you'd be doing much backwoods camping with this because it'd be, it weighs more than I do. Well this bag was owned by Dr. Nigel Rustis, a very well known physician here in uh, Newfoundland and he was known as a great outdoorsman. He went all kinds of hiking trips and tenting trips and loved being in the outdoors as much as he could. And it's very well worn. You can see the, where he hand patched some of the stuff that was worn through. Um, darned. He darned different aspects of it in order to keep using it. So it was very, very well loved. You actually can still smell the woods off of it and this wood smoke coming off of it, even though it has been conserved by our staff here through freezing. It's also very, very large. Not much like the ones, the uh, tech gear you're going to get camping these days. But again, it kind of shows our love of the outdoors and our ability to survive outdoors and how much we wanted to go outdoors. Irregardless of the weight of these bags and how heavy and awkward they were and the um, desire to survive in the outdoors in a very inhospitable climate. <laughs>